Hello, my name is John Shoemaker, and what you see here in front of you is a J.W. Randall Machine Company stitching horse. The most, most I can find out about, you guys who may have seen this before might recognize what it is. Over here is the seating area, and a person would sit down when they were working on horses or collars, anything with horses, they would sit down here like this and these jaws open up and down here there's a little push it down, there's a leather strap that runs up and closes that and the whole idea is it clamps it in place and can be moved around, that's why it's wider in here. It's like if they're putting a horse harness or anything, it holds it in place so the person could move it around easily and stitch it. I don't know what wood it's made out of, but as far as I can tell, this is all original and all authentic. You can see that the hinges here are very high quality. See right here, it says J.W. Randall Company, Cincinnati, Ohio. It also has the same imprint right here. The leather is in great shape. The little locking mechanism down here is in outstanding shape too. See, it moves up and down. So all original, all authentic, very sturdy all the way around. Now, when I bought this piece, I knew it was unique, but I didn't really know how unique it was. As far as I can tell, the J.W. Randall Machine Company, the history of it, it was actually founded like in 1858. And it looks like it was absorbed into another company in the late 1800s. So I don't know how long they kept using that designation of that name. The reason I say that is I can't age the piece, but turn of the century, maybe a little before, maybe a little after, I don't think would be out of reach. I do know that the stitching horses, I saw some references with their name in a publication called the Harness Herald, which was, I guess, a, either a retail or a trade magazine that was for people who were in the leather business. And you got to remember, at the turn of the century, we didn't have cars. Everything was made for horses, so there was an awful lot of people who were in the, hey, let's take care of horses, let's make harnesses, let's make saddles, let's make everything. In fact, you could probably put a saddle right into here. Very sturdy. Very cool, very neat all the way around. Uh, the company that bought them was Campbell, and that turned in, they turned it into Campbell Randall. And I'm not sure when, because Campbell was started in the 1850s. So at some point they bought them out. I'm listing it here for sale, both as a practical use for someone who is in the handicraft business. Uh, or as a decorative piece for someone in a farm like up in Ocala or up in those areas. I have only found one for sale in the last six or eight years, maybe two, and that was it. So there's not a lot of them out there. If, it would also be a great decoration if you owned one of the companies that does work for this for high-end horses to put it in your studio or in your place of business because it has an awful lot of history. In fact, I could direct you to the pages. Well, anyway, I've got it listed for $400 towards the high end, maybe for some people, but worth every penny of that for an authentic, original, in-shape piece that's very unique and very rare. If you have any other questions, get in touch and I will be glad to put something together for you. Okay, thanks.